TV. I'm Jason Phillips, standing alongside Hoover Patriot head coach Jason LaFour. Jason, you've been an assistant, making your way around the valley. Now you're a head yeah. coach here at Hoover. Tell us what what Hoover, why Hoover? Um, obviously, I wanted my own um, program. I always wanted my own program. Being an assistant for eight years, um, felt like I was ready. Felt like I was prepared. Hoover was a great opportunity. Um, it's one of those schools where it has great facilities, two facilities. Not many Fresno Unified schools have two facilities. Great, communi uh, great community base, easy way to fundraise, great rich tradition of history. And it's, I think it's one of the top schools in the Valley. Absolutely, and it's where I went to high school too. Now, Jason, uh, now who, who did you bring with you as far as your assistants? Who do you have with you, and how do you feel about them going forward? Um, I'm actually one of the younger staffs in this probably area. Um, I'm 29 trying to grow um, with me I have a guy Lance Gregory was a varsity assistant at I mean was a varsity head coach at Fresno High before this he coached at Clovis West as a JV assistant was a at Clovis North so he's a guy who's probably one of my top assistants um, have another guy Alex Gianetta who played for me at San Joaquin Memorial as head JV coach and then my JV head coach is a guy named Brandon Webster graduated from Hoover um, I remember that name. Yeah, played you know played football. Does a great job strength and condition. Does a great job with the kids. He was a JV coach in years past. Um, his assistant is Ben Ross, kid who played here, helped win a Valley Championship 2011. And then my head freshman coach is Mike Fulford, head freshman coach. Last year he's done a great job with our kids. Helped lead them to the Clovis freshman tournament last week. So doing a great job. Now tell us about the kids that you've inherited. Uh, how do you feel about them? Uh, so a couple names that maybe we should watch out for this year going forward. Okay, we have 11 seniors. I inherited a, a team that has a lot of senior base. Uh, we have four juniors, 15 kids. Um, our probably top three kids to look out for is we have a kid named Rakim Murphy. Last year averaged about 18 a game as a junior. By far, our, he's our you know he's our go-to guy with clutch situations. Another kid, J.R. Windham, another senior, about 6'3", 6'4", long, athletic guy who can get to the bucket. And then we have a, a junior who, realistically, is a kid I think can get play at the next level. He's a sleeper. Is Jerron Bowers, about 6'2", long, lanky, athletic. And we have great senior leaders that mesh everything together. And we'll get a look at him tonight against Kerman, the final game here in day one tonight. Now, have you scouted Kerman? How do you feel good about this matchup? Um, what can you tell us about it? I actually talked to Kerman's head coach last year, Ian Hayashi, who's a buddy of mine, was a head coach last year. Talked to another guy, a buddy of mine, Kyle Yanagos, who was his varsity assistant. Talked to them, gave me a nice little scouting report on how to play Kerman, what their strengths, what their weaknesses are. So it's, you know, it's a tough game. We haven't played in a week and a half, so hopefully everything goes well. Now we have Roosevelt playing right now against Lamar. Roosevelt looks pretty strong. Yes. They're going to be one of the top teams. Yes. How do you feel your team stacks up to the competition here this weekend? Um, Roosevelt is in our league, so it's it's we're getting a scout on them right now, but super athletic. I don't know if there's a team in this area that is as athletic as they are. I have to agree with you, 100%. And, so, um, and then we have Fresno playing against Clovis North later tonight, mm -hmm. who's also in our league, and they got a kid who's from Texas who's – I'm, I'm excited. I'm eager to watch him play as well. But um, do you feel you guys? Have, do you feel you guys have a chance to win this thing this weekend? Obviously, as a coach, I'm going to say we have a chance. All right. You know, it is. it's my gut feeling. I, I think I put ourselves in a situation to be successful, and hopefully, our kids come ready to play. All right, Jason. Well, thanks a lot. This Thank is CBSR TV. Jason Lafour, head coach of Hoover.